look at me like that. I need to know about Emily. Where is she? I don't know. Ask your ex-wife. She was with you, though, right? Yeah. That horrible place they called a health spa. Emily called me. Yes. Yes, they called me the spa. We, we saw a phone. I was coming to get you. Yes, you... We thought you were, but then you... You came. I... called Jack. I told him that I had spoken to Emily. Jack was coming over, and I... Why didn't I come get you? Is he okay? That's what I've been trying to tell you. What happened to Emily? I don't know. Last time I saw her at the spa, remember, the, I mean, we told you about the snow and the glass, and the... There was this... Doctor, he did these things. They gave us this tea and he gave us these treatments, and that's what happened to my skin. Is Emily hurt too? I don't know. The doctor wasn't to Carly first, and then Emily, and I think they're probably both dead thanks to Barbara. James, who no. did this? James, James. Rose. James. I must protect James. Hey, yeah, James. How? How are you talking about? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Now I accept my part in all of this, but James is the one that took Emily from you. James, you were so close to finding her, remember? But James is the one who stopped you. He's hypnotized you or brainwashed you or something. Something he's done to you. And he's made you believe that he's worth your loyalty and your protection, but you've got to fight it. You've got to fight whatever he's programmed into your brain. Hal, you know what's true. What's real? I miss you, and I need you, Hal, more than I've needed anybody in my whole life. You hold on, okay? And you tell Rose and Carly that everybody here has been worried sick about them, but we never gave up hope. So don't you give up either, okay? Okay. I love you, Hal. I love you more than anything in my life. Please just find us. The King of Spades. You remember him. And when you see him, you'll know what to do. Do you hear me, Al? You know what to believe. You know the truth. James. Hurt me. No, there's got to be something I can do. I barely got Rose back. I can't lose her again. This might be something you can't fix. It's crazy. I, I've got money. I know a, a I've ton got of money. people. I get my mother has money. You don't think my mother would do everything L she could to Lily, help Lily, please, Rose? where is she? I already told you the truth so that you wouldn't confront her. Please I, give her some space. I'm not going to confront her. I'm going to be there for her if she reaches out and needs a hand to hold. Rose needs some time. She said it, alone. You have to respect that. Could you? If it were Holden who were hurt or sick, could you? You know, I told you, I realize I, how badly I treated Rose, and I understand that that might not sit very well with you. It's in your blood to protect your sister, but do you really believe that she doesn't need me right now? And I promise you, I won't push. But I just gotta tell her that I'm, that I'm still here, and that I don't, didn't just love her because of what she looks like. I love her. Don't you think she deserves to know that before she decides whether or not she wants me out of her life? Wait. Rose is up for wins. Dead. I don't know. I just haven't seen her in such a long time. I can't help but think that both of them probably could be. Hal. Where have you hidden James? James? You got James? 
So all that information in that head is out there somewhere? Hal? Where is it? Hal, I know you think that you were helping him, but James is in a coma. Do you understand, Hal? If James dies, we'll never find Emily or Carly. You're going need to deal with no, no, James in my I'm own with way. Rose, no! You go out there. You go find Stenbeck right now. Maybe you can save all of us. I kissed you right here in this gazebo, remember, right? I don't want to see you. I, I know, I know, I know you don't. I, I, Could you go? at least tell me why? Just, just go, please, just go, just leave now, please. If that's really what you want, I... Yes. Yes. Okay, then. I guess I don't have a choice. But before I go, I just... just have one request. Turn around, Rose. Let me see you. I, I've been trying to piece this whole thing together. You, me, Barbara. This whole case, James, and none, none of it makes any sense, none of it. I've done everything you asked, everything you told me to do, and none of it makes any sense. I, I feel this need, I felt like I had no choice but to protect you, it was the only thing that made sense, but, but then I remembered something. what it felt like to be with her and to hold her and and you took her away and that never felt right that never felt right James and the more I remembered and the more I remembered who you are and who you've always been you hurt people James you've done horrible things to people you're my enemy and yet I feel this need, I feel this need to protect you, and... You've done something horrible to me, James. Something that has to stop. 